Hey, 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 it's Leona. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. How's it going? I hope you're well and good. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of mosaics. We're going to be doing something completely different. Usually on the stream, we're doing acrylic painting, some kind of craft making. Uh, and today, we're going to do a bit of mosaics because I'm just finishing off a commission that I'm working on. So I thought I might as well hop on and show you what I've been doing. So I'm going to talk to you all about it. Um, as usual, every Wednesday, we have a little chit chat for the first 10 minutes or so. Then I get making. And well, we have a chit chat throughout the whole thing, really, but it's just a good old relaxing, creative time. So come on in the room, come and join me, and let's get creative. Hi, Alex, how you doing? Happy Wednesday. Have you been? Have you had a nice week so far? I hope so. Uh, so we've got the festive vibes happening for you again. We have got the gorgeous gold and snow scene in the background. I'm loving this kind of like, oh, hold on, let's go this way. Kind of like shimmery gold portal that's happening. And then we've also got this kind of like snowy scene out of the window with a little tree, which kind of reveals itself, which is really cute. And then we've got a lovely little fireplace here, which is so nice. Uh, it's all projections, of course, but it kind of feels like it's nice and warm, doesn't it? Uh, happy Wednesday. How are you? Yes, a good week. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, and then over here, we've got the little decorations that I finished off last week, which will be on their way to each person next week because it's Christmas. We've arrived. It's nearly here. OMG, I can't believe it, it's nearly here. And this is a little card actually that I was making, which is available on the membership site right now on the Academy. Um, and here is the mosaic, which I'm gonna be talking about uh, very, very shortly. So yeah, I hope you've had a good week. I hope all is groovy with you. This is my last live stream for 2020. <gasps> Oh yes it is. This is live stream number 35. Can you believe it? Been live streaming since March 2020 every week except for a few weeks in August. Um, and we've had a great time haven't we? Like just thinking about all the live streams that they've been. We've just made so many things. So do go and have a look at the channel. Go back, relive the memories. If you're like stuck for something to do at Christmas or you want to escape for a little while or something, go back and have a look at the videos page and have a look at all the good times we had. Relive them again and um, I'll be back in January. But for now, we're actually going to like get on with some art because I have been getting myself into this commission here that you can see on the bottom left there. I'm gonna bring it up so you can see it nice and big. Uh, it's basically a mosaic sign and it says the word faith because it's for somebody. So this is a commission. So the person wanted the word faith. So that's what I'm doing. And for me, it makes me think of George Michael and you gotta have faith. But for them, it's a religious thing. So, but I just wanted to make that clear that it's not me. Um, but yeah, that's what they wanted. And it's got like this orange and yellow, gorgeous kind of ombre sort of border, which is really nice. It's like a double border. Oh, it's a triple border actually. It's a double border in orange and then a single border in yellow going to orange. Uh, and then a blue, light blue, and dark blue background and the word faith. Um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I'm just gonna finish it off. As you can see, I've just got a few more little bits to do here and it's all done. <sighs> well I say it's all done it's got to be grouted as well but it's nearly done uh is this the last live for the year yes it is this is it Do -do -do. oh this time I know it's the real thing <laughs> so yeah so that's what I'm gonna be doing today is just finishing that off we can have a good chit chat talk about what we're gonna do for Christmas and the new year I don't really know actually exactly what I'm doing for Christmas yet. It hasn't all really been planned, but it will be by the end of the week. Uh, as I'm usually not on the live for the art class, your art is so creative and amazing. Thank you so much, Alex. It's so lovely of you to say. Um, 
Um, have you seen the mosaic in Muzzle Hill, by the way? Because you know that was up to me. That was me who designed and put that up. Uh, and I did all the lettering and got 50 people to do that sign. Uh, that's up there permanently forever and ever and ever. So you can enjoy that. Uh, and this is like a little bespoke sign for somebody uh, that they're going to hang up um, and enjoy for years to come. Because the amazing thing about mosaics is they just last such a long time. As you know, if you've ever been to any kind of museum, the British Museum, for example, there's loads of mosaics in there from Roman times. I mean, they just last years and years and years and years. So if you do them properly, they last you that long. <laughs> if you do them properly and you've got to do them properly. Angeli, hi, sweetheart. Happy Wednesday. How are you, darling? How are you? I hope you are well. I've got my little decorations from last week all hanging up. Don't they look cute? I like, uh, I've got to get rid ready to give them away. And like, I'm just, oh, they look so cute all hung up there. I'm like, they're really sweet. Maybe I should make some for myself. Maybe I should get back to the shop and like get some more of these little animals and like make some for myself. Like, why did I forget about myself? <laughs> no way. Also, thank you so much for extending the art class. Oh, that's my absolute pleasure. It really helps. I'm sure it does. Uh, yeah, 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 of course. No worries. Um, yeah, don't forget to make yourself some things for Christmas. If you're making a batch of things, you've got to make yourself something. I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah i have got some little things to show you as well actually i've got some pictures to show you i made a gingerbread house with my niece on the weekend and i've got a photograph and many of you have seen it already but i'm gonna bring up a photograph of that um and i'm also gonna bring up a photograph actually this is what we can talk about uh straight away happy wednesday love it thank you sweet pea um, if you noticed on the thumbnail of this video, uh, you need to send me your address because so you're painting holiday card. Oh my god, that would be lovely. Oh, you're too sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just message me. Um, yes, yeah, so if you noticed on the thumbnail of this live stream, there was a photograph, or there is a photograph of two mosaic coasters. Now these coasters have been made into an online lesson which is now available on my online academy so if you are interested in making mosaics now i have so much experience in mosaics now over like 12 years experience making massive signs for people in public spaces in private spaces um, and I know all the right things to use after lots of trials and tests and working things out um, and if you want to know how to do mosaics and make a couple of coasters for yourself you can do on the academy which is artistresource.co.uk forward slash members you can learn how to draw you can learn how to paint you can learn how to make cards little sculptures you can get tips on how to become an artist as a career there's free music like the one that you can hear playing in the background there's so much stuff so if you really like those coasters as I said, that are in the thumbnail of this video and now right there, go on over to the Online Art Academy and sign up. I would love to see you there. Boop, boop. Uh, da, 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 da. So great, Leona is doing one more stream. Yay! <laughs> I was like, yeah, because last week I wasn't quite sure if I could do this week or not. So I thought I better not say just in case I can't do it um but yes here i am hello and welcome <laughs> donna how you doing donna welcome welcome sweet pea how are you how's life are you getting ready for christmas let me know what you're all doing for christmas and if you feel ready or if you feel not ready if you're making something along with me let me know i'd love to know what you're doing when you watch the stream or if you're just chilling and having a cup of tea let's do that do you know what i'm saying 
Hello. Hi, Darren. Happy Wednesday. How are you? How's life? It was so good to catch you live the other day. It is all happening right here, right now, for the final live stream of 2020. I think we could all make a good toast to this year being over. Chink, chink. <laughs> very nearly over guys it's very nearly over it's snowing so hard oh my god is it right now and i'm standing out in it oh my god how cool is that oh that's so nice i don't know if we're gonna get any snow this year it's snowing virtually here though da, da, da. so maybe that's what happened maybe like it's been invoked <laughs> doing well a great day oh i'm so glad i'm so glad we've got the fire going the fire is burning we're gonna be fine hopefully joy will pop in from the future and tell us everything's gonna be all right <laughs> uh pretty simple christmas i might make more hand sewn ornaments for felt i haven't seen these oh my gosh you're gonna have to show me drop me a message on facebook or tag me or something um, even though this is my last live stream on YouTube, I will be, of course, around the place on my Facebook and on my Instagram uh, at Artist Resource. I don't really go on Twitter. I only go on Twitter to post about these streams. Um, but I will be around on Facebook and uh, Instagram if you want to say hi, drop me anything you've been working on. I'd love to see. Uh, yeah, and stay in contact over the Christmas period. Uh, I'm decorating my room for Christmas today. Excitement. Don't you just love a bit of decorating? I am always putting up the lights. Like I literally rotate the lights around my flat because I just love lights. And then Christmas lights is like an added bonus, right? I'm done shopping. I just have to wrap. Well, well done you because I am not. I am not done shopping. I've got to actually after this. I've got to go and sort out like what the things I'm going to buy. I'm not doing too much this year because I thought, you know, don't want to get over just too keen this year. I think we have to like, you know, just be a little bit more like less consumerist, more handmade stuff, that kind of jam, more time spent. Do you know what I mean? Uh, virtual snow is still snow. Well, that is the truth right there. Uh, working on my hand painted, oh, you didn't say hand painted, working on my painted holiday cards during the stream. That's what we like. Use this time right here, right now to catch up on the things you need to catch up on. There's always this hour and a half every Wednesday where you can come and be like, oh my God, what do I need to do? What do I need to finish off? I haven't got this time, but then, oh, I could use that time to do this thing that I really need to do. Perfect. Do you know what I mean? And if you miss me for the next two weeks, you can always put on a replay of one of the ones we've done previously. This is the 35th live stream, so there's plenty to choose from. Go and relive the memories, do you know what I mean? I'm working on a Zen Tangle that I'm giving as a gift. Oh, how lovely, yay. Da, da, da. Oh, whoa, what's a Zen Tangle? Oh my God, don't know, I'll let you tell her uh alex you really inspire me to do art and a bonus uh you're not just an art teacher it's an amazing lovely enjoyable and amazing art teacher oh thank you before i found you i didn't have an art teacher but now i do well isn't that fantastic yay hooray hooray uh so yeah so we're gonna do a bit of mosaic in today i've only got a tiny bit left I was so on it today, I actually didn't realise I was going to get this much done, but I kind of nearly finished and I had to stop myself. I went, hold on, I've got to do a little bit in the stream. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, uh, it's a sign, it's a custom sign. It says the word faith. It is for someone who is religious um, and I'm not, and that's fine because you've got to have faith, right? You've got to have faith in loads of things faith in yourself faith in others i mean faith is just like another word for belief right um so this is it uh, and it's going to texas oh no yeah it's going to texas it's going to dallas texas how cool is that and as you know i have quite a few uh lovely people from 
Texas in my stream every week, i.e. Darren, Angelie, Halo, who might arrive shortly. Um, yeah, so that is kind of fabulous and cool. So I'm just going to be finishing it off. I do need to do uh, the grouting, obviously, because after you've kind of stuck them all down, you got to grout the whole piece. I've already done the edges. I've already done the hangers inside. The hangers are behind here. You always do that first. Um, and then I'm just going to stick these in, basically, and have a bit of a chit-chat. So it's going to probably be a bit of a shorter stream today. Um, but, yeah, I just thought I'd come on and show you what I've been working on, basically. Uh, but it's quite nice that this corner's cut off, so I can show you there if I disappear really quickly. And then I can just put, pop myself back on. Da da da! I will miss you for two weeks, even though I could watch the replay, it's not the same. Yeah, we'll be back. You know, time goes really fast, <laughs> it will fly by. Yes, you do, and one day you have to come here. Yes, for sure. Oh, my God. I've never even, like, considered it. And what amazes me so much is the preconceptions that we have about certain places. And I definitely had only the stereotypical version of Texas in my mind before all you lovely people introduced me to all your cool, creative things. And then I was like, oh my God, I didn't realize that like Texas was so creative. But then I looked at how big Texas is and it's flipping huge. So the probability, <laughs> the probability is there, right? <laughs> it's massive. Like, I think you can fit like six UKs into Texas, right? Is that right? It's got to be about six. Um, it looks lovely, Leona. It looks amazing already. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much done. I've got to literally stick three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tiles down. That's all I'm doing this stream is sticking, like, ten tiles down. So I'm having a, like, proper little chit-chat as well. Well, I should say proper big chit-chat. I want to show you guys the gingerbread house. Before I get started, I have to show you the gingerbread house. Now, many of you have seen it on my Facebook already and on my Instagram stories, but it's not there no more. It's already gone. So I've got to show you my gingerbread house. I had so much fun. Who's made a gingerbread house here? Let me know if you've made a gingerbread house before. I am 41 years old and I've never made a gingerbread house. I've never decorated a gingerbread house and I've never um, handmade from scratch from the whole baking stage all the way through. I've never done it myself before. So me, a friend, her daughter, and my niece got together. My niece is 12, and we all got together and made it. And me and my niece made one together. And uh, we had so much fun making it. And the gingerbread tastes amazing. Um, and I'm gonna show you right now how it turned out. And I'm pretty chuffed with it for a first go. For never having done it before, it looks like a house. The pieces fit together. It was easy to cut so I could get it all together. The only thing I didn't do is like use a piping bag and pipe icicles and do patterns with icing, which is what I want to do next time. So next year I'm going to get myself a proper piping bag with all the nozzles and like do some like really beautiful kind of like decorative effects, like do it like really kind of Swedish um and make it really kind of gorgeous but anyway me and my 12 year old niece this is what we made here it is Ta -da! wait a minute Ta -da! <laughs> uh, but, but austin is a very artsy town but yeah there are lots of art scene in both dallas fort worth and Austin and the major cities. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't even heard of Fort Worth before, um, but now I know. So yay for getting educated about another part of the world, for sure. I mean, I've been to California twice um, and that's it. I would love to go to New York for sure, 100%. Um, but yeah, it's so good. I love that we're like, loads of people are here from different parts of the world is so much fun right but let me know if you ever made a gingerbread house before i mean i'm all about it now I'm, I'm, i can't believe i've never made one before i'm like how did i miss out on this 
like surely I must have made one as a child but I don't think I did I don't think it was really a thing like years ago like in the 80s and the 90s I don't think it was a thing it's more amazing than I imagined I love it oh Angela you're such a sweetheart thank you so much it's so cute Do you know what I loved the most when I went to uh, we got the equivalent of a dollar store in the UK called the pound shop right and in there they sold can you see those uh, little oranges and lemon slices candied orange and lemon like jelly sweets and when I saw those I was like yes this is gonna be my roof tiles I'm so excited about that and there's also little watermelon sweets on there so there's the lemons and the oranges and then there's little watermelons in between oh my god like when I saw those I was like yeah I want some pretend fruit on my house like if it could all be fruit then I would be like oh my god yes please let's do that I actually do you know what that reminds me of have you ever seen uh, watermelon cakes like I would love to make a watermelon cake they are so cool they're literally like made out of watermelons a cake made out of watermelons and there's like three tiers we can do like as many as you want you can have two tiers four tiers they're just like birthday cakes made out of watermelons and then they decorate them all with fruit yes please to that because let's be honest i'm not eating any of those sweets that are on that gingerbread house not even one like when they was all we got them all out and i bought them all i don't intend to eat any of them they're for my niece i'm not gonna eat it but the gingerbread on the other hand that is really nice like i was really impressed like we put loads of ginger in it we put loads of cinnamon in it uh, and a tiny bit of allspice not much just a little bit of allspice and it was just so so good anyway that's my gingerbread house experience i hope you enjoyed that <laughs> uh, i wish i could eat it the oranges are so striking aren't they so nice i was like yay and we had this icing that came in a tube like a squeezy tube and it was red and white stripes and in hindsight we shouldn't have really done that on the roof because you can't see them as much as i wanted to see them and really i was just the main concern i was having was just like this house better stand up so i was scraping out we had like a shop bought like pre-made royal icing and i was scraping it out and chucking it on i was like this is not gonna fall apart because i had to get in the car drive my niece home and i was like there's no way this thing is breaking so i'm putting all the icing <laughs> I just thought I'm gonna have to do the whole thing with so much icing <laughs> oh and final little thing can you see the little snowman it's got like it's like a little Rudolph snowman my niece made that how cute is it and it's got little candy canes for antlers oh and there's love hearts made out of candy canes I don't know if you can see that but like right in the middle of the house like above the door is like a little heart with candy canes and on the roof as well there's a little love heart with candy canes anyway <laughs> so that was a fun time everyone try watermelon ice cream it's delicious and creamy and refreshing i bet it is oh my god did you mean like ice cream or do you mean like sorbet i bet that is really nice anyway that is my ginger house journey because it was a journey because it took we made three in one go like for different people and uh it took hours <laughs> it took a long time <laughs> so next year i'm gonna make little mini ones and then you can eat them and then you've still got some do you know what i mean I'm gonna make mini ones next year no sweets on them or maybe just like sweets that i like not that i know what sweets i like because i'm not really a sweet person i'm a chocolate person i'm not a sweet person there's no many so cute isn't he cute anyway so that was that guys that was that should we do some uh mosaic in watermelon gelato oh so okay so it is the one with cream in it wow I love it it looks so traditional and classic 
gingerbread house thank you sweetie yeah we wanted to go all out full on every sweet you could think of get it on there uh also about yeah watermelon is just such a good flavor isn't it hi alicia happy wednesday how you doing sweet pea how's it going how are you so today we are going to be finishing off this mosaic let me start sticking some tiles down right i've only got a few got 10 tiles to stick down but uh i better get to it strike a pose there's nothing to it adhesive bum 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 what that was so yeah this is the last stream of 2020 guys um we've had some good times we have had loads and loads of good times haven't we and only more and more good times to come you know only more good times to come let me tell you that so i'm going to work on the h i'm going to need to move this up a little bit I'm good, what about you? I'm good, sweetie. i got to say I'm tired. I'm like being doing all the things. As you can see, I've made a whole mosaic. I've finished off my decorations that I'm going to give to close family members. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's... Oh, I made a gingerbread house. So I've been busy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've been busy. Right, I'm going to move this over a little bit, actually. I need a bit more room in the house. What have you been up to? Tell me what's been happening. Uh, so, yeah, it might be a bit of a shorter stream tonight. Because, literally, I'm just going to be chatting away, sticking ten tiles down, and that's about it. Um, but, yeah. We're going to have a good time nonetheless and a relaxing time nonetheless. Hi, how you doing? Sangamitra, how are you? Happy Wednesday. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? I hope I said your name correctly. How's it going? I hope you're well and good. I'm just finishing off this mosaic today. It's a commission. It's a sign, it's been made to their specifications, and that's what's happening. Hi, Alan, happy Wednesday. How are you? Hey, buddy. I'm tired too, finals week for school for me. Lots of tests. Oh, well, good luck, sweet pea. Good luck with it all. You're nearly there. You're nearly, nearly, nearly there. Keep on pushing for the last little bit. Uh, waiting for my pizza and kebab meat. I've had beers. It, now it's food time. I hope you're well. I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Enjoy. Enjoy. I hope you're having a lovely time. Um, are you ready for Christmas? Like, does Chris? Are you a Christmas person? Do you celebrate? Let me know if you're a Christmas person. Let me know if you celebrate something else. I mean, as I've said, I am not a religious person. But I do kind of celebrate Christmas. I know that sounds contradictory. But for most kind of Westerners, it doesn't really sound contradictory, does it? Because you know what it's like. You love all the festivities, getting together with people, baking, making stuff, putting on the fairy lights. I mean, it's just a happy time, right? It's just a happy time. So that's what I'm all about. I'm all about the happy times. I might have to move my mic over a little bit. I might have to put my mic here. Because I'm like going all the way. I'm like all the way over there. Oh no, you can still hear me actually. It's alright. You can still hear me. I mean, you know me. I've got a loud voice anyway, right? Probably like popping the microphone anyway. Oh, and I bought myself a nice little folder and I've put all the paintings in. So all the paintings that are available on the Online Art Academy are now in a lovely little folder looking all beautiful. So I'm going to have to show you that in a bit. Nice to see you always. And I don't celebrate anything, but beers and food is involved. <laughs> I like it. I like it. As I've said before, I definitely like celebrate the solstice like the winter solstice 
more than anything that's what i'm celebrating i'm celebrating nature to me it's all about nature so if i had to put it on something that's what it would be but the all the seasons you know the seasons is where it's at and it's you know we're having all these dark nights right now and then we get the shortest to its day and then the light comes back it's all what religion's based on anyway i'm watching you from youtube on my ps3 and typing from my phone that is commitment that is commitment alan i'm gonna have to sh just go like this for one second that is commitment i'm loving it i'm loving it loving it loving it that is so cool yeah because you can watch you can watch YouTube on the TV now. So you can put me on the TV. How cool is that? Nature I'm in, right? It's all about nature. It's all about the change of the seasons. Nature is like symbolic with creativity. They're kind of like paralleled as well. I mean, that's a chat for another day for sure. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I've just got to stick a few tiles down. And that's it. I mean, I've got way too much glue here, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I've cut all these. Usually, this is not the way I work. I don't cut tiles uh, in advance. I cut them as I go along. But because it's the stream, I wanted to just have them cut because it's really not a good idea to be cutting tiles and the bits fly everywhere. I've got a camera up there, there, that you're looking at me from, and I'm not about to damage it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, sometimes with paintings, after a few months, the paintings get hard and the paint crunches and removes. Do you agree that it shouldn't do? It shouldn't do, only if it's not very good quality paint, and only if you've put it onto a surface that the paint doesn't like, so you need to prime the surface beforehand. You shouldn't really do that, really. That's not what you want. Um, but if you're using cheap paint and that's all you can afford uh, and you're just practicing, then it doesn't matter really, does it? You have fab stuff, always amazing art. Oh, thank you, Alan. Looks like a tin opener. <gasps> I've never thought of it like that. Oh my God, it does look like a tin opener. I've never thought of it. These are Lepinit wheels and they're diamond wheel cutters. So they're like super, super sharp. You put the tile in here like this and then you cut it like that. But like I said, I'm not going to do any of that on this stream because that would just be dangerous. It's too close, too close to the camera. My camera's too close. On the course, if you want to make a mosaic coaster on the course, you can see me doing it there because I had the cameras angled a little bit differently uh, and it worked out much, much, much better. So if you're interested in learning how to mosaic, there is a course on there for you for just 20 pounds. Get down on it, artsresource.co.uk forward slash members. Oh yeah. The hardest thing when painting for me is cleaning my brushes at the end. All my brushes get stuck together the next time I come to paint. You've just got to make sure you wash them with soapy water after every single use. So if you're using acrylic paints, if you're using acrylic paints, you need to keep them in the water as you're going. And then you need to clean them with soap and water afterwards. And give them a really, really, really nice clean. And they should be fine. They should last a long time. Again, if they're good quality brushes, they will last a long time. And if they're not so good quality, they won't last very long. It just depends on what you spend, really. You know? That's how it goes. Actually, this one I might trim up a little bit. This one I'm going to just sand a little bit. So I've got a little bit of sandpaper here. This is like super, super um, dense, hard, hard sandpaper. And what I do is I'm just going to do this, but I'm just going to do it off the screen for a minute. I'm just going to do it over here. So basically I'm just doing that. I don't want to do it on there. just gives it that's nice 
You have to get, of course, that's the word I was looking for. You gotta get really coarse sandpaper because these are glass tiles. And your average bit of sandpaper is not gonna uh, go on there. It's not gonna work. Hope you and the fam are well, matey. Thanks so much, Alan. That reminds me of glass art. Yeah, it is. It's well, this is glass. So it is kind of glass art. Do you know what I mean? There is some ceramic. These tiles here are ceramic. So the word is done in a mixture between glass and ceramic. And then all the rest is glass. And it depends what people want. So whenever I'm making custom signs, it depends what people ask for. So it depends whether I use a mixture. Usually I do a mixture. Uh, but the lettering that I do is always white and always a mixture between ceramic and glass because I think it looks really nice and white is always really bold and stands out uh, so all the tiles you hand cut yeah yeah they're all hand cut they come like this so this is how they come and then they're all cut by me so you can see none of them are like the complete size complete exact size they've all been cut yeah every single one that's what makes mosaic you don't you don't you shouldn't really ever put a tile down whole unless you're working with really little tiny children then you use like a whole big tile but in your artwork you should never use it and you can tell someone is not experienced if you see them using whole tiles like that unless of course the piece is massive and you need to use some whole tiles that's different right uh it's really amazing it sounds very difficult it's not actually not if you just keep practicing like everything have you ever cut yourself on the tiles loads of times loads of times i cut myself yesterday <laughs> hi karen happy wednesday how you doing lovely welcome welcome to the stream how are you i hope you're well and good Welcome, thank you for joining. I'm working on this custom sign. I'm just finishing the last little bit here today. Hi everyone. You're the mixture queen. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you so much. That's really sweet of you. Look, if I get rid of myself here for a second, you can see the whole thing. There you go. So yeah, it's got like a double orange to yellow border and then a single yellow to orange border. I mean, it's very, very basic, uh, but that's what the client wanted, and I've been really enjoying making it, you know? All right, let me get my little face back. There I am. On every computer, iPad and phone, we have subscribed <laughs> to you. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, sweet pea. How's it going? Uh, so, yeah, I haven't got that much to do today. As you can see... All I've got to do is stick down a few tiles here and I'm done. So basically today we're just having a chit chat about Christmas. How's it going? Are you looking forward to it? Are you ready to eat the chocolate? Karen's like me. She's ready for the chocolate. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, don't worry about all this sweet stuff. Yeah, as in sweets, as in candy. I'm not into that. Give me the chocolate, right? Give me the chocolate. That's what I'm ready for. Give me the chocolate. Oh yeah. So yeah, this is winging its way to Dallas, Texas. Did I miss the chocolate? You did. It's been eaten. <laughs> It's been eaten, Karen. It's gone. We love all your art. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've always been a bit of an all-rounder. I'm one of those people that is a bit of an all-rounder, you know. I did applied arts at university. Back, uh, graduated back in 2001. And I did applied arts, which was like woodwork, metalwork, ceramics, uh, plastics and all that jazz. So I've got a good all round knowledge in materials and I've been using different materials ever since. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yes, Karen, all the chocolate. 
I probably shouldn't be eating chocolate Kit Kats while drawing. Yes, you should. I think it's very important to just have a little bit of chocolate while you're working. Just a little treat because it's work. This is work just as much as any other work. So, you know, you've got to have your little treats. All the little treats must be indulged in. You've got to congratulate yourself for showing up and getting there. Do you know what I mean? And waking up and being alive. That is worth celebrating in my eyes. Love to everyone, stay well, and to you, Karen, and to you. I mean, this mosaic really just wants me, want, I don't know. This mosaic makes me want to sing George Michael. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I've only got two more tiles to put down, guys. got to put this one here and this one here. And that's it. So we may be having a short stream today, but it is the last stream of 2020 for me. Do you feel like that? Do you feel like you're winding down? Like, do you feel, do you go into like hibernation stage when it gets to this time of year? I always feel that the time after Christmas and then the beginning of January is the hardest time to just kind of get up and get out the door and go do what you gotta do if you can get out the door. Uh, do you know what I mean? This time of year, it's like your energy just kind of starts slumping. But it's really, that's why art is like the perfect thing. It's so good to have your art projects out and ready so they call you back so you get excited. Uh, GJ, how you doing? Welcome. Happy Wednesday. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Wow, that looks cool. Thank you so much. How you doing? Introduce yourself. Welcome to the community. So uh, I'm just finishing off this sign. This is a custom sign for somebody. Um, and I'm just finishing it off today. I've got a couple more tiles to put in. I've got to grout it. Then I've got the joyous experience of packing it up and sending it on its little merry way across the pond. I've done um, actually last year, was it last year? Was it 2019? No, it was the end of 2018. I made a massive sign, like humongous, like wider than a door frame, not as tall as a door, but wider than a door frame. And I sent it all the way to Beverly Hills and oh my God, the packaging on it took so long to package it up. And I had to package it up with this really thick foam so that it wouldn't get damaged in the post. It was like the mosaic was like this thick but the packaging made it like this thick. Actually, it was about this thick. So that it wouldn't break. My name is Grace. Welcome, Grace. It's lovely to have you. How you doing? What kind of art do you do? Uh, Halo's here. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. You're just in time. I'm about to put the last tile down for the last stream of 2020. Oh, yeah. Shared earlier. Thank you so much. It's really lovely of you. Just been working really hard have you darling how's it all going you get in there they call it the sad yeah seasonal yeah seasonal affective dysphoria syndrome yeah uh usually it's seasonal affective disorder we call it in the uk um yeah no some people it really affects it's really true and you've got to make a real conscious effort to like make sure you've got things going on which make you feel uplifted, uh, 100%. I cannot recommend art enough for that kind of thing. It's just like something that's going to draw you back, you know, pin up your artwork, let it call you back, you know, and keep returning to it so you just feel like really uplifted. It's really important, actually. It's really important. Yay! Da -da -da. I'm going to put the last tile down gonna put the last tile down oh yeah this adhesive incidentally is 
Can anyone guess what this adhesive might be normally used for? Let me see if anyone can guess. All my um, signs that I make are suitable for outdoors. So the adhesive has to be like super strong. Da, 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 da. And we are complete. Yeah, it's dis it is disorder. Yeah, 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 yeah. But usually, yeah. Yeah, because I don't think you can get dysphoric about that kind of thing. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, yay! Very happy. With my bait sun. So, yeah, I'm going to grow it tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to send it on its little merry way across the pond. Happy days. So, basically, the adhesive that I use is what they use to make wet rooms with. So you can actually use the adhesive I use underwater. How amazing is that? When I found it a good few years ago now, um, I was using this other adhesive before and it didn't quite cut it. And I was like, there must be something else. So I was researching, 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 and I found this stuff. And this, if you're ever like, if you ever need to stick something which needs to be outdoors and you want it fully weatherproof, you want to use this stuff it's called ct1 it's amazing 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 so there's me geeking out about adhesive right there um da -da -da. that looks nice thank you it actually looks really cute in the bottom corner doesn't it, it looks really sweet there it is da -da 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 -da. so happy So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I'm doing a short stream today. Um, I actually thought that I would have more to do, but then I realized um, that I was actually just finishing it. And I was like, oh my God, I've got to stop making it because I've got to have something to do on the stream. <laughs> um, so I'm really happy. It looks so cool. Da -da. Here you go. Nice. I like it. Thank you, Grace. Yeah, it's winging its way to a client in Texas. And I'm in London. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you're looking forward to Christmas, if you're looking forward to time off, if you're looking forward to, what are you looking forward to the most? Sitting down? <laughs> Seeing someone that you haven't seen for ages, maybe. That's always really, really nice, isn't it? Just spending quality time with people is so nice. Um, I mean, I always see art as a way to like spend quality time with people, hence the gingerbread making phenomenon. Um, hey, no, I'm so exhausted. Sorry. Don't, don't be sorry. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry about it. I've got to go now. Sorry, enjoy the stream. Bye, sweetie. Happy Christmas. Uh, you could read the colour if you like. It's true, I could. I could, but I don't know if I'm gonna. <laughs> I could but I haven't prepared one I want to make sure that like if I'm going to read you one that I've looked in there what we're gonna do for the last few minutes I'm going to go in 10 minutes time uh what I am going to do is show you some of the stuff that's available on the academy because I haven't actually shown you a lot of the drawings that are available so if you want to learn how to draw Drawing animals is really, really super easy and a really great way to start. So I want to show you some of the drawings that I've done. Um, because I haven't shown you. I can't believe it. Like, it's been all this time. Uh, so I've got my big old sketchbook here. Big old sketchbook. So let's do a little sketchbook flip for the last 10 minutes. So, let's do this. So, let me put the thing up so we can see. 
see. So available on here is, are all these drawings, right? So if you want to learn how to draw any of these, this is all going to be available. Have a great day. I've got to go and eat my lunch. Bye. It was lovely to see you, Grace. Um, so we've got a cute little chameleon. If I can fit my whole face in. Chameleon. Easy to draw. Happy Christmas and Hanukkah and Solstice, everyone. Yeah. Like, happy all the things, right? There is a parrot. How cute is he? Look at him. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Really easy to draw. Really, really easy to draw. I haven't even mentioned the drawings yet. But I'll show you how to go step by step through all these. So these are like just really simple things to do. Um, tiger. How cute is he? The amount of tigers I've drawn in my lifetime. Honestly, I've drawn so many tigers. Let me know which one you like the most. Which animal do you like the most? So we've got a little fox. How cute. Is it a karma chameleon? Yes, it is, Angeli. <laughs> I love that song so much. I love that song. Little Foxy. Little Foxy Foxy. It is a karma chameleon. Happy to whatever you celebrate, right? I think it's quite nice that there's so many things around Christmas because basically it does all stem from the winter solstice. It's all about the sh there being a shorter day and the light coming back. It's all about that. It's all about that. Check out the little squirrel. So cute. This is one of my faves. Let me know what you think of the deer. <gasps> How beautiful. So these only take like half an hour, between half an hour and 45 minutes, well up to an hour. Um, if you follow the process step by step, so cute, right? I love my little deer. So cute, so cute. Oh, we got a sea turtle. So if you want to get a little bit of colouring as well, there's a lesson all about colouring. Oh, can he get? A, oh, look, he's in the, he's in the, he's in the projection. Swimming in the projection. How cool is that? Love that. This one looks really difficult, but this one is super easy. I've taught this one so many times as well over the years. The lobster always goes down so well when I teach how to do the lobster. So much fun. A couple more. We've got a cat. These are all available on the Academy if you want to learn how to draw. And then you can apply it to your own things. So it's always good to get like a practice in and then uh, you can learn how to draw anything. Once you've learned how to draw things basically, you can do anything. The deer is great and I like the chameleon, lizard and turtle. I need to go bye, stay safe everyone. I love the art. Will you be here at 8.10? No, not today. I'm going to go in five minutes. Bye Alex, lovely to have you. Happy Christmas. There's the little bunny. He's a magical sea turtle. Yeah. It's a magical sea turtle. There's a the little bunny. Happy Christmas. Da, da, da. I think we've got like two left. Oh no, this is the last one. This is the last one. The bulldog. How cute. It's a French bulldog. I really love him so much. He's so adorable. So cute. Isn't he lovely? So that's all the drawings. So far. So far. Oh, and there's also, incidentally, there's also like a warm up for drawing thing on there. Um, hold on, hold on. that's all the drawings and then I'm doing really 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 quick look I've got myself a nice little folder this is a really good idea actually if 
are doing loads of artworks and stuff you want to get yourself one of these like display folders so that you can like put everything in and have it like really really nice and presentable and then you can't like damage anything great drawing thank you so much Karen so look you've seen all of these before anyway but I thought I'd just give you a quick little flip through now that they're all in the packaging and look, all look nice watching and working thanks halo i'm gonna go in five minutes i gotta go early today we've got these you guys are, oh look it looks so cool in the in the projection how fun is that so nice this one, I'm still going to frame. Halo, do you remember you told me to frame it? I'm going to frame it. This one. I am going to frame it for sure. So all these are available pretty much. There's a couple that aren't. Um, this one, Kandinsky. I've done it a couple of times. A couple of different versions. There you go. <laughs> Yay! Got the cow. Looking gorge. Got the auto. I mean, they just all look good with this projection on them. I mean, look at that. Pimp up your paintings with the projection. Do you remember these? These aren't up on the academy. These is what I did on the stream. This one's my happy place. I mean, that projection works on every single one. Doesn't it like look nice on every single one? There hasn't been one that it looks bad on. What about these ones, my mandalas? How do they look? This is the final one. Incidentally, these ones are the ones that really helped me through the lockdown. When I was feeling sad and really horrible about what was happening in the world, I painted these and I felt so much better after doing so. I'm sure you guys had your own experiences with trying to get yourself out of a slump and out of like all the horrible news that was going on in the world. So yeah. So if you're interested in learning any of those, go to artistresource.co.uk forward slash members and join the Art Academy. Can't wait to see you there. Amazing, amazing. Uh, it's like an art installation with a lovely projection. Lovely, thank you. I love the woods one. I haven't seen that in a while. Psychedelic, yeah. I mean, colour just makes you feel good, right? Colour would just change your mood once you get into it and you feel the colours that you enjoy. Actually, Halo was talking about her favourite colours the other day on the stream, which, if I remember correctly, was mint green and lilac. Was that right? I mean, when you, like, just immerse yourself, um, as you can see, I'm all about fully immersing yourself in colour, right? And once you do that, it just brightens yourself up. You just feel so much better. And the more you do it, the better you feel. So the first few times probably ain't going to make a difference. But as you do it over and over and over and over again, then it starts really kicking in and you're like, you know, you create a new habit. And when you make art a habit, you start feeling just so uplifted, so motivated, so excited about things. You want to get up in the morning. Do you know what I mean? So good. I've grown attached to your mandala style. It's been my favourite. Thank you for the inspiration. That is my pleasure, Angelie. Adorable. Thank you. I'm joining soon. Yay. Mint and lavender. Mint. Yes. And lavender are my faves. Yes. I'm, every time I see that colour combination, I'm going to think of you. Um, oh, and I've got the Nicholas Rorick painting to finish still. That was one I haven't quite finished yet. But I'm going to finish that and that will be available in January for the Art Academy. Because that painting, the colours, 
oh my god the colors the colors i actually haven't got that one here to show you but you know remember it from a couple of streams ago exciting so this is my last stream of 2020 it's been so lovely it's number 35 we've had such a good time haven't we we've made the i really really feel like we've made the best of a bad year we've actually just made it really amazing actually and it's really good to just like remember what is important in life and one of those things is definitely making art um so i hope that i encourage you and inspire you it's my number one thing that i want to do is inspire you and make you feel good through art and color uh and i'm going to be on social media throughout the whole holiday so for the next two weeks i'll be over on my facebook at artist resource and i'll be over on my instagram at artist resource saying hello i'll probably do a quick few little lives here and there like nothing too long just maybe like hi how's it going uh and that kind of thing so if you're not uh following me on facebook or instagram yet why not come on over we have a lovely time <laughs> but i think most of you are most of you here live are watching me uh and are followed oh and thank you to the replay viewers lovely very much i'm getting quite a few replay viewers now which is really nice so welcome to you and thank you for watching gorgeous thank you thank you for making 2020 more beautiful and happy yay that's my absolute pleasure let's cheers to that jink i haven't knocked these out of the way have i no yes finished hope you have a lovely holiday leona thank you so much and you too i hope you every single one of you i hope you all have a fantastic holiday nice and relaxing calm feel rejuvenated feel rested ready to go for 2021 right ready to go for it we're gonna go for 2021 that is for sure <laughs> we're gonna go for it so i'm gonna go now guys lovely to have you thank you for joining thank you for all the lovely messages stay in touch and um i'll see you here on wednesday 7 p.m gmt 1 p.m central in january but i will see you over on my facebook and instagram at artist resource probably tomorrow <laughs> maybe even tonight <laughs> see you later guys thanks for joining lots of love bye happy holidays